Okay, guys, the first thing we want to do is get the pictures that we find and make them all nice and pretty. Uh, I recommend leaving some white if you're unsure and then cropping it down in Word. The cropper is a lot better than you have the windows like I did. Um, that's what I'm doing here. I am just trying to fix the picture as much as I can. Um, like I said, if I would have known that words was better, I would have just um, left some white and then finished it up there. You're going to want to make sure, too, that you have a front cover and a back cover. And then um, two, page, two pages front and back. Yeah. Um, or even like eight PCs, because two, two PCs would make up a page. Um, sorry about that one bit, but I got rid of it, but uh, we're done editing. <laughs> now we're just doing the voice over. I limit myself to an hour edits, just because um, that way I don't get, like, lost in the rabbit hole. Also, like, who doesn't have those pictures of tent? I honestly was trying to get, like, that tattoo. But, yeah, but it's, it's not happening. <laughs> um, that's why I have those pictures of tent like that. Mm. But, there, you know, there's some people who don't have a reason. Not that I need a reason to have pictures of tent like that. Um, I mean, he's literally been quoted for, he's trying to seduce us. So, here I am. I am editing the pictures to fit side by side, because everything should fit on one page. You should have two, one, three. Yeah, three. Three side by side. So, you should have the cover, front and back. Um, and then two pages worth. Uh, you'll see my final product, and I did not put the cover back to back. Um, it really doesn't matter how you do it, because you're going to end up cutting it out anyway. Um, but I did all this work, and this is the reason why I put these up for you guys, so you can see all the boo-boos I made. Um, and I did shorter down a lot of it, just not like this, right? So. Um, after this, what I did is I went back to the lady who actually like gave me this light bulb um, for the Harry Potter ornaments. And I looked at the scale there and it literally, literally, literally measured it with like a ruler to get the 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 scale right on the ruler. So this is the Quibbler that I was talking about where I pulled back up. I will put the link at the bottom so you can make sure you got the right proportions um, from when you find your pictures that you so desire to make into this really awesome ornament. It totally beats those ones that I've been seeing in the Christmas tree with like just the regular ball and the symbol. Okay, those are pretty cool too, but like I feel like this is so much better. Uh, I also like the ones where they use the the cards <laughs> and they make them into ornaments. It's pretty cool too. Um, but this is it right here. Uh, you can see I got my measurements, and now I'm just readjusting everything. It's okay if you have to readjust things, guys. Um, as you can see, I clearly did. Um, but I think you get the point. I'm gonna fast forward it now. So, like, at this point, your pages should look pretty much like this. Uh, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't look like this. But like I said, this is what this is pretty much what they would look like. When you're working in here, though, you want to make sure you do, um, I think it's wrap text and then behind text. That way you can move the pictures to how you want them. Um, I will tell you, with the main cover, I actually had to, like, put that together in art. Um, and if someone wants, wants me to show them how to do that, I can for sure do that video. Um, I just didn't screen record it. 
when I started. Um, and that's that. And so when you're doing this, try not to do, try not to pick pictures with that are too dark. Try to do like a nice simple one where like you can clearly see them. Um, just know your printer might do this to you, which I still think this is fine. That's me. I don't know how much of a perfectionist you are. I'm cutting it like this so I can play with it a little more. I should really just cut that through. I think I will. Good thing about this one is I can color it whatever I don't, whatever's open black. that like that. This is actually for this. Wired to crave unique foods? I could have done this color to match this one. They had the perfect color for it. However, why would I take away a perfectly good off perfectly good opportunity to color myself? I still love playing with crayons Wait, and, and markers. So why would I take that away from myself? So once you finish cutting everything out, you can glue it together, set it to the side. I think in about an hour or two it should be done, especially if you um, get something and you kind of like smush the glue out. I find that a paintbrush is the best. Um, it started off with me doing it because my glue cap broke, but it actually works. Um, and then you're just going to like cut off any of the excess stuff you see like I'm doing right now and then once that's done uh you'll match them up and you can do the same thing again um see at this point I'm ha kind of happy with where I'm, where I'm at and I'm gonna start sewing it together usually in the other one it was a lot easier because it was white and you could hide it. But this has words on it, right? So, like, <laughs> I didn't want to ruin the words. Oh, I, same thing. I use a thumbtack. But, like, the holes made no sense in terms of, like, I had to put it on the same letter so you could still read the words and they were legible. And you could see the end result. <laughs> fairly shortly of the um I like triple knotted it and then I cut it just so there was a too much string on the inside because you still want this to look nice right sure it going it's going on a tree it's you want it to be nice this this is this is your band right um these are my boys they're releasing a new album super excited what is that coming out, by the way? Let me check my fan club app that I'm just so happy I got into. I started with Listen, and, like, all of that was closed, and I cried when that happened. But now they have the Kwangya app. 
and that's where like guess all the fan people are i feel like though that like it's open to everybody now you know which i guess is like cool but i don't know uh let's see schedule I like how it has like artists and you can select the artist's schedule versus the band schedule and see what the artist post is. Uh oh the 22nd 20, 26th is the SM Town 2022 winter event. The 28th is when it drops. I think it was supposed to be the 9th, but someone had to go and die. I was like, who what? Who's dead? Okay, apparently in China when a president dies, like there's like this morning freeze here yeah, we move on with their life people who care go see them on their tour or whatever oh but like they couldn't promote it too yes i understand um um and that's that i will say that Uh, I just need to build a bridge and go over it. Um, so you can kind of see right here. Like, I literally emphasize that letters. It doesn't look too bad on this side either. So I thought, you know, that came out pretty good. And what I'm doing is I'm going to tie it off. But I like hooking it to other things. So, like, there's less of a chance of it coming loose. I am sorry. I promise y'all guys wasn't have this done tonight. And it's like, couple minutes to 2 a.m. So that's what I'm doing. Even though there's like no one that will probably be, be watching this. The description will be crap <laughs> until I edit it tomorrow when I wake up. But I said I was gonna have it up, so I will have it up. And there it is guys. There's my beautiful baby. I meant the book, not the guy. And one last time, you can see that it still says kickback. And goodbye. Thank you.